Hello everybody, welcome to Storytime with Bridie. Today we're going to be reading a book, it's a very special book given to us by our friend Mackenzie and it's called Naughty Naughty Monster and it's by Kay Umanska and illustrated by Greg Abbott. That's not actually the title. That's not the title Barbie at all. It's not the title. That's not Barbie the title. That's not the title. We should say hello to Mackenzie. We should say hello Mackenzie, you're really cool. Thanks for a cool book. Okay. The naughty, naughty monster came rampaging through the wood, scaring all the little animals. He wasn't being good. I'm a naughty, naughty monster. Are you ready? Here I come. I am hungry for my dinner and I want you in my tum. The tiny woodland creatures shook and shivered in their holes. The rabbits and the dormice and the hedgehogs and the moles. The monster sniffed and snuffled. He was searching high and low. When he heard a word, a crisp, sharp word, and that crisp, sharp word was no. Before him stood a fairy with a head of golden curls and a fancy gold tiara and a necklace made of pearls, the sweetest little fairy you could ever hope to see, except for her expression, which was cross as cross could be. Naughty, naughty monster, what a wicked thing to do. Stop scaring little creatures who have done no harm to you. I'm sending you straight home again. Be off back to your cave and don't you dare come out until you've learned how to behave. But the naughty, naughty monster came rampaging through the farm, causing squeaky, squawky flapping, consternation and alarm. I'm a naughty, naughty monster. Are you ready? Here I come. I am hungry for my dinner and I want you in my tum. All the frightened farmyard animals were quaking in their pens. The piglets were quite petrified, and so were all the hens. There was terror in the stable, there was panic in the dairy. But everything calmed down with the arrival of the fairy. Naughty, naughty monster, you do not know wrong from right. It's back into your cave until you learn to be polite. But the naughty, naughty monster came rampaging up the street. He was kicking over dustbins with his massive monster feet. I'm a naughty, naughty monster. Are you ready? Here I come. I am hungry for my dinner and I want you in my tum. Oh, the panic, the confusion, so much shouting, so much noise from the mummies and the daddies and the frightened girls and boys. The monster was enjoying it and loving acting tough. Not the goody-goody fairy, though she'd really had enough. Naughty, naughty monster, you will not do as I say, so it's back into your cave with you and in that cave you'll stay. I am blocking up the entrance with a great big heavy stone and that will be your punishment Boulder. to stay there all not alone. Stone. This time it says stone and then the next time it says boulder. He'd really gone and done it now. He couldn't shift the boulder, though he kicked it and he thumped it and he shoved it with his shoulder. He slumped down on a cushion and he shed a little tear. He'd go no more a monstering. That much was plainly clear. The days passed very slowly. It was not a lot of fun. He had lots of time to think about the naughty things he'd done. He got paper, pen and envelope and wrote a little note in his best and neatest writing. This is what he wrote. Dear Fairy, wrote the monster, I am writing you a letter. I know that I was naughty, but I think I'm getting better. I am very, very sorry and I promise to be good. Please come and let me out again. I really wish you would. The letter was delivered by a helpful little bird and a very happy fairy sat and read it every word. She really hoped he meant it, though she had a bit of doubt, but decided he deserved a chance and kindly let him out. The naughty, naughty monster went rampaging through the wood, hugging all the little animals and being rather good. He visited the farm where he was friendly, kind and sweet. He handed out red roses to the people in the street. I'm a funny, friendly monster, just as nice as nice can be. Take a flower, have a cuddle, come on home and have some tea. 
It took some getting used to and it felt a little strange being nice instead of naughty, but it made a pleasant change. The fairy was delighted when she saw him making friends. She took a rose and kissed his nose and there the story ends. Though sometimes in his dreams at night he still acts rough and scary and is very, very naughty, but we will not tell the fairy. I would. <laughs> would you? <laughs> Bye, love. Thank you very much for listening, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. See you later. Bye.